Right, fellas, welcome back. So today I'm at my magical place, man. One of my favorite spots on the Texas coast to fish for tailing redfish in grass flats, man. So hopefully they're there today. We got calm conditions, high of 100 degrees. I think maybe 10 mile per hour south winds, but we should be protected by that south shoreline. So the plan is to catch some redfish tailing. And then after I catch one or two, then I'm gonna take a beeline, make a U-turn and go to this channel that I actually found on Google Maps. Didn't even know it was here. And I'm gonna see if I can wade fish that area. I got some live shrimp. I got a couple guys with me and they got some live shrimp on them. So I'm gonna bum some live shrimp, put it on a popping cork and wade fish and see if I can catch some flounder trout and redfish in that channel. So stay tuned guys. And here we go. Another day and another fishing dollar folks. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, he spit it, man. That was a ladyfish, but that was a nice little topwater bite in the morning. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. He blew up on it. Come on. Get again. Get again. Oh, come on, baby. Hit it. Take it. <laughs> I guess I'm. I need to really let them hit it. Okay, let's see if we can do it again. It's funny. This whopper plopper, top water. I'm working it like a, a spook junior. I'm just giving it jerks, letting it pop, even though you're not really supposed to work it that way. What do you think about this place so far? Oh man, I think this, they're smaller guys. They can't, they can't seem to take the this big, this big lure. But they are hitting it. It's funny on this uh, whopper plopper <laughs> bass lure. That's a top water. I mean, you gotta make it look like an injured bait fish and they'll hit it. See that? <laughs> All right, we are at the shoreline now. Looks like a high tide, much higher than what I remember, but should be, should be okay still. Hopefully we'll be able to see some tails. I can't see through the water per se because there's uh, there's barely any daylight and um, we might have overcast conditions today so actually it might be a little bit hard but the water is really high which is a little bit concerning but we'll make do and try our best see if we can catch some redfish I think that's a mullet tail right there I'm pretty sure it's a mullet tail but you know we, we will cast to find out There we go. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a mullet tail. It was a redfish. <laughs> oh, he's a puller. He's going to be my first slot today. I believe so, folks. There we go. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish. Saw this guy's tail come up. Beautiful. Check it out, man. He's like, he's keeping his eye on me. Look at this. Like, look at his eyes. He follows. Look at that. Beautiful redfish. Let's see if we can catch a couple more, man. Make it a limit. And day just started, man. Hopefully... It picks up in action. You're a small dude, right at 20 and a half inch. We're not gonna risk it. There you go, buddy. Have a good day. There we go. <laughs> oh, another red, another red. Oh, he broke there. That's a big one. No, that's not red. That's a gar. Dude, you gar, man. You mother freaker. God, give me my lure back. So that's what I saw. I thought it was a redfish. It's a big gar. Dang, it's a big gar. What the hell? I got something. <laughs> He's a smaller red. That was just total blind casting. Oh, come on, buddy. He got a little pull on him. There's another red right there on that shoreline. It just blew up. Oh, gosh. Uh, he's a little fella. He's probably about 18 inch. -er. No, he's about 18 inch. Beautiful red. Here you go, buddy. There we go. There we go. Nice. Completely, completely saw that wake, but he's going to be a smaller guy. All, all of them have been pretty small today. It's not the action that we wanted today, honestly, folks. And there he goes. Good release. Not the action we wanted today, but nonetheless, uh, still having a lot of fun. Still early in the day. Hopefully we can catch maybe at least one more slot. 
All right, ladies and gents, update, man. It's been absolutely slow. The wind has picked up really bad. I wanted to fish that channel over there behind me, as I said in my intro, to wade fish, but that current is running through there wickedly. I mean, it is, it's actually too dangerous, so I'm not even gonna risk it. So I think I'm gonna fish this little gut here um, near the boat launch. Uh, there's oysters on each side. Maybe we can tag a couple of small trout, and then possibly I'm gonna head into that marsh and see if I have any luck. All right, folks, here we go, man. Rough waters, high winds, but we're gonna have a lot of fun, man. We're gonna catch some fish. I'm telling you, you gotta have faith in me. There we go. Oh, nice. Woo! You hit it right at that corner there. That feels like a, like a red fish. That feels like a like a redfish. Oh, not, oh, he's going in that grass. Get out of that grass, please. You're not going in that grass. Dang it, you're in that grass. <laughs> oh, dang, man, on the new SLX DC. That drag is not that bad. That's a big dude. Oh my God, did I forget my freaking net? I forgot my net. Okay, never mind. I didn't forget my net, folks. I'm an idiot. Just like right here. Open your eyes, Nick. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, dude, this is a good dude. This is a good dude. Yeah, that's a nice size redfish. Wow. He might be a little bit too big to keep for my liking. Get in the net there. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. I just got completely lucky than blind casting him. Yeah, he's going to be too, too big. That's a thick boy right here. Man, that's too big. <laughs> Dang, look at that fish, dude. Beautiful. Check it out, guys. First fish today. Big old redfish. 26 incher, I'm imagining, but eight pound on a boga. We're gonna let this one go, man. It's too big for my liking. Later, dude. <laughs> First big old donger on the SLX DC. Pull it in, no problems. The drag, uh, it's not bad. Um, it's kind of what I expected on a lower end DC model. It's not a Metanium DC, that's for sure. But the drag is pretty nice. Pretty smooth for the price range. But as it still is a late, I still prefer my Metanium DC. It's much smoother when I drag it and, or when I cast it and when I reel it in. Drag on this is not bad though. Not, not, not bad at all, man. There we go, nice. What is this? Oh, he's got a little pull on. Might be a little trout. Nice. No, he's a little redfish. There you go, buddy. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> a trout. There's a little slick right here. Small little slick. <laughs> Alrighty, boy. Nice. Alright, chill out, bro. Chill out, chill out. Nice trout. Eh, probably about 13 inch. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Small little red. Well, there are redfish here. Just not the size that you want. There, dude. Starting to see more bait activity here, which is good. I think there's oyster too here on the bottom, if I remember. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice little red. Little bitty dude, little bitty dude. Yes, thank you, my man, thank you. Oh, there's a red right here. Oh, that was the first red fish I've seen. Goodness, man. Golly, I totally whiffed on that one. First redfish, man. Oh my God. First redfish I've seen and I blow it. You are a smooth operator, Nick. Smooth operator. 
Woo wee. All right guys, remember I told you, when you have a hard day of fishing, make yourself happy afterwards, okay? These last two days have been really hard. So I'm gonna make myself happy today. I'm at ACK. That's right boys, I got myself a new Hobie Outback, the 2020 model to be exact. And I already know what you're thinking. You're like, hey man, doesn't MDLR fishing have that exact same color? Yes, you're right, he does. But he also made a $500 bet to me that I wouldn't get the same color. Now, I'm $500 richer, baby. But yeah, man, I'm really excited. The 2020 Outback had some upgrades that I wanted to take advantage of compared to my 2019. And yeah, don't worry guys, I will make a video, a comparison video between the 2019 2020 models and let you guys know if it's worth it. If you are looking for an Hobie Outback, man, make sure you guys show ACK some love. ACK on Bissonette. Right here, guys, check it out. ACK off of Bissonette. Talk to Sean, talk to Rico. If you're looking for a discount on a Hobie kayak or any other kayak, these guys will hook you up, man. Just tell them that you saw my video of me picking up my 2020 Outback and they will help you guys out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know the fishing was slow, but hey, Sometimes that's just the way it is. But thank you guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're looking for a more in-depth experience with RX Angler, I encourage you guys to check out the Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash rxangler. We've actually created a really cool fishing community within the Patreon page and I'm there on a daily basis communicating back and forth with my patrons and there's a lot of benefits to become a patron and hopefully one day I'll see you there.